We just got a box that contains an iPad Mini 2 and an iPad Pro 12.9 inch. For the iPad Mini 2, customer already removed the motherboard and he said that the FPC connector, digitizer FPC connector needs replacement. And he mentioned something about trace damage. Let's take a look quick. So the FPC connector is already taken off the board and we do see two missing pads here. I also see a short on those two components. Let's take a look at the board diagram to see what those two pads do. Pin number three is ground. So the first missing pad is a ground pad and the other one is connecting to somewhere. It's connecting to the PMU right there. So it's an important pad. So basically pad number five is the one that we need to fix. Pad number three is ground. We do have grounds on the corners here. But uh, this one here, we have to find a way to restore this pad. So I'm going to apply solder to all the pins. And especially pad number five. I never used this size soldering tip for this job, but let's try it and see if it works. Usually I use a bigger tip, but I'm curious to see how this one will do. Very good. It did very good. Is it possible to solder a tiny wire here? We're going to be dealing with a piece of wire that measures 0 0.1 millimeters. So we're talking extremely tiny wire. I'm going to try to use hot air to reflow that wire down with very low air speed. Okay, I think we did it. Yes, look at that. It's solid. And we're going to add flux. We do not know what problems we're going to have with that wire that we soldered on, if it's going to get loose or not, because if it's not making a connection, I do not know what will happen. I did not even look at the circuit diagram, I just looked at the board diagram. But whatever it does, we had to do what we did. I have airspeed at around 30. All right, 
So it fold down in place. And if all went well, we should have no problems. I mean, the wire that we soldered, I can see it. I think this is the one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right there. This is the one. So it's making a connection. Number three, we do not care about. It's a ground pin. We already have ground on the edges. So we should be good. I mean, the good thing, our wire is still there. Oh, I did not do this under the microscope. Bummer. Bummer. As you can see, we soldered the connector. I forgot to put the microscope on, but I think you could see what I was doing by looking at the screen. As you can see, the wire is still there. One, two, three, four, five, right over here. So I'm assuming it's making a good connection. Pin number three is ground. We already have ground on the edges, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And that's it. Only thing we can do is try it. Customer sent the iBot like this. So I'm assuming the screen is not glued because the motherboard is out and there's no reason to glue the screen back. And the tablet is on. Hopefully touch works. Because I did everything that I could. I do not know if I can do a better job than what I already did. But we need right there. Yes, touch is working and the home button is working. Awesome.